Hello everyone, welcome to Ms. Lavish, a channel for awesome facts and information. In this video, we are going to talk about how Bill Gates made $128 billion. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel Ms. Lavish for future uploads. Bill Gates, once a young boy who loved tinkering with machines, is now one of the world's wealthiest citizens. Gates' net worth was estimated to be $128.1 billion in April 2021, according to Forbes. Gates is more interested in giving away his money these days than in making more. Millions of lives have been saved as a result of his philanthropic efforts, and he intends to give away the vast majority of his $128 billion fortune before he dies. Gates spends billions battling illnesses and climate change, but he still enjoys a little luxury now and then. His real estate holdings are continually growing. Gates owns more farmland than anybody else in the United States, and he owns everything from mansions to hotels. When he's not saving the planet, Bill Gates can be found admiring his rare art collection or driving down the coast in his Porsche. Bill Gates earns and invests his billions in this manner. Bill Gates and fellow programmer Paul Allen formed Microsoft in 1975, and the company quickly became successful. Thanks to popular items like Microsoft Windows and Microsoft Office, Gates became a billionaire at the age of 31 in 1987. His net worth peaked at $100 billion just before the dot-com crash, but when the bubble exploded, his fortune plummeted by more than $30 billion. It will take decades for Gates' net worth to reach $100 billion again in just a few hours, but things are very different today. Gates' net worth is no longer based on the value of Microsoft stock, and he now holds only 1.3% of the company. Although that small stake is only worth around $20 billion, Gates has donated more than $35 billion in Microsoft stock to date. Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, fellow billionaires, have much more varied investment portfolios than Bill Gates. Gates has largely focused on philanthropy since resigning as Microsoft's CEO in 2008, but that doesn't mean he won't spend money on himself. Gates, like his close friend and fellow billionaire Warren Buffett, is known for his frugality. As a result, it could come as a surprise to learn that he owns a $132 million estate in Medina, Washington. Gates purchased the property for $2 million in 1988, and it is now basically heaven on earth. The property's 66,000-square-foot mansion alone is worth $63 million, and Gates has gone to great lengths to make it both spacious and luxurious. The mansion, dubbed Xanadu 2.0 after Citizen Kane's home in the film of the same name, features a 60-foot pool, trampoline suite, and a high-tech sensor system. The eco-friendly mansion is also built into the surrounding hillside to better control the interior temperature. If Gates has ever left the state of Washington, he has a number of options for lodging in the United States. Since his holding firm, Cascade Investment, owns half of the Four Seasons hotel chain, He's also a partner in the Cambridge, Massachusetts-based Charles Hotel. Gates is a bit of a cowboy, as he owns a number of ranches throughout the United States. He owns Rancho Pasiana, a $18.9 million horse ranch just outside of Santa Fe, California. A racetrack, guest house, office, veterinarian suite, and orchard are all part of the 228-acre thoroughbred training center. Since his eldest daughter is an avid equestrian, Gates also owns a $8.7 million horse farm in Wellington, Florida. Gates owns a 492-acre ranch in Wyoming that is both valuable and historic. Buffalo Bill once owned the $8.9 million house, which is conveniently located near Yellowstone National Park. A large hunting cabin, guest house, caretaker's house, and dairy cabin are all on the property. Farmland makes up the vast majority of Gates' real estate holdings. He owns more than 242,000 acres of farmland in the United States, making him the country's largest individual landowner. We don't know what Gates intends to do with his $1 billion worth of property, but it's likely to include sustainable agriculture. Gates owns farms in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Nebraska, totaling 69,071 acres in Louisiana, 47,927 acres in Arkansas, and 20,588 acres in Nebraska. There are a lot of luxury cars and a garage belonging to Bill Gates. Porsches are his favorite automobiles. His car collection is worth more than $5 million, and his favorite vehicle is a hybrid Porsche Taycan. 
The Porsche Taycan Turbo S starts at $185,000 and can accelerate from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, as you'd expect from someone as environmentally aware as Gates. The electric supercar with 750 horsepower is quick and strong. Elon Musk was irritated when Gates bought a Taycan instead of a Tesla. Musk wrote on Twitter that his discussions with Gates had been disappointing. Other Porsches can be found in Gates' garage, but he doesn't drive them quite as much because they aren't diesel. A 2.8-liter twin turbocharged engine powers the Porsche 959, which has a top speed of 339 km per hour. $113,300 Gates with a 3.8-liter twin turbocharged six-cylinder engine, the Porsche 911Cs can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.7 seconds. He once owned a Porsche 930 for $189,000, which he sold several years ago. Gates was apparently tempted by the car so much that he got three speeding tickets in a single weekend while driving the fast Porsche from Albuquerque to Seattle. Gates not only drives in style, but he also travels in style. He used to fly bus, but now he travels in his $40 million Global Express private jet. Gates only uses environmentally friendly jet fuel and spends up to $7 million annually to offset the family's aviation emissions. The Bombardier Global Express has a capacity of 19 passengers, and Gates has described his private plane as a guilty pleasure and a major splurge. Gates does not own a yacht, but he does frequently charter luxury yachts. He leased a luxury superyacht for $5 million per week to fly along the coast of Sardinia with his family a few years ago. What a fantastic way to enjoy the Mediterranean's fresh sea breeze. Bill Gates is an avid art collector who set a record in 1998 when he paid $36 million for Winslow Homer's Lost on the Grand Banks. At the time, the acquisition was the most costly in art history. Chilled Hassam's Room of Flowers, a $20 million piece of art, now hangs outside the library in his Washington State mansion. In the year 1999, at a Sotheby's auction, Gates paid $27.5 million for George Bellow's polo crowd. Gates also owns The Nursery, a $10 million painting by William Merritt Chase. The Codex Lester by Leonardo da Vinci is Gates' favorite piece in the book. He paid $30.8 million for the one-of-a-kind handwritten scientific journal. Bill Gates may not have any of his works on show. He saves some and admires the digital versions. His $80,000 mansion in Washington state is outfitted with computer screens that hang on the walls and can be updated with the click of a button. Bill Gates may have many expensive possessions, but he gives away much more money than he spends. Bill and Melinda Gates co-founded The Giving Pledge with Warren Buffett in 2010. The charitable movement helps billionaires around the world to give away the majority of their wealth before they die. The Giving Pledge has been signed by more than 200 billionaires from 23 nations, including Jeff Bezos, his ex-wife Mackenzie Scott, George Lucas, Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison, Mark Zuckerberg, and Elon Musk. Since 1994, Bill and Melinda Gates have given more than $50 billion to charity. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was established in 2000 by the couple to combat poverty and improve healthcare in developing countries around the world. It is the world's largest private foundation, with $46.8 billion in assets. The couple has contributed more than $36 billion to the foundation so far, and the organization has helped to reduce disease outbreaks such as malaria, polio, and tuberculosis. Since 2000, the measles mortality rate in Africa has fallen by 90% thanks to Gates-funded vaccination campaigns. One of Bill Gates' aims is to eradicate diseases. He also wants to put an end to the global warming crisis. Breakthrough Energy was created by Bill Gates in 2015 with the aim of accelerating progress in renewable energy and green technologies. The company invests in biofuels, nuclear fusion, and clean energy startups. Gates has put $2 billion into the business with expects to put billions more in over the next few years. Here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that Bill Gates intends to leave just $10 million to each of his children? According to Gates, having large amounts of money is not a favorite of children. He wants his children to make their own decisions in life. Even a $10 million inheritance, on the other hand, is a substantial sum of money. That's pretty much it for today's video. Do you find this video interesting? Do let us know in the comment section below.
We hope you've enjoyed it and collected some useful data. If yes, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Ms. Lavish for more informative videos. Don't forget to turn on the notification by pressing the bell icon, so you never miss our future uploads. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, goodbye.